And tonight, a new weapons detection system installed at all DeKalb County high schools and middle schools is causing some concern for parents. For the third straight day, parents are reporting long lines as students try to head into class in the morning. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates joining us live from Tucker High. This is one of the locations where students have been experiencing long wait times. That's exactly right, Faith, and I spoke to several parents who are not happy with the district's new weapons detection uh, screening process. One of them sent me a picture that you'll get to see in a moment of the long line their child had to door, endure to get into that building this morning, and they tell me that they want changes to be made ASAP. Well, it's definitely delaying my child from getting in the doors. Stephanie Kolsik was among the many DeKalb County parents concerned about the new weapons detection system being used across the DeKalb County School District and the long lines that have resulted. The first day of school, he was about 20 minutes late into school. He was marked absent, and then once he got into class, he was able to get it corrected. But Kolsik's son was lucky to have waited only 20 minutes. Parents of some students at Shambly Middle claim they waited more than an hour. And Tucker High School students waited in long lines this morning to go through the Evolve weapons detection system. Having everyone like stand in line, take out their phones, their binders, their Chromebook, anything metal, and still having to wait in the line to go through is just too much. In response to the delays, the district sent out letters saying the rollout of their new security enhancements have been overwhelming successful, but they did acknowledge there have been issues and say they are implementing corrective measures, which include retraining staff to be more proficient on the evolved weapons detection system and using practice drills to decrease wait times. The district also wants students who are carrying instruments in other large cases to be prepared for inspections. But despite the need for adjustments, some parents are celebrating the new security measures. Children actually have to feel safe in school in order for them to be able to learn. And last year, they had a couple of incidents where my daughter texted me that message that no parent wants to get, right? There's, a, there's, a, there's an issue here at school. I'm scared for my life. So this year, I was glad to see that they were actually doing something to possibly make our children safer. As for Kolsik, she is optimistic things will get better. I do have confidence that they'll figure it out because they usually do. It just takes a minute. Now the district tells me they are committed to keeping staff and students safe and they say the weapons detection monitoring system is just one of those components. Back to you. All right, Boba, thank you so much for that update.